Turbo. Yes, I see you there. Your hay's coming, buddy. <laughs> she loves her milk. <laughs> Hi, Sheldon. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Doesn't know which one to go to. <laughs> Do ya? Come on, kids. Yeah. <laughs>
doesn't know which one to go to. <laughs> Do ya? <laughs> No, 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 no. You're no, back inside. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come here. She says, I'm free. <laughs> no, where are you going? Where are you? Come on. Back you go. No, no, no. Back you go. There you go. The escape artist. Okay, so these are peas that we soak. Uh, so you've got to soak them to soften them up or else they can't uh, digest them very well. Peas and lentils. Peas and lentils. Oh, there we go. She knows what that feed is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, the door is kind of freezing up. It's supposed to warm up midweek, so that should be good. Whoa, boy. There they are. <laughs> Feeding frenzy. Oh, did you open the gate? No. Uh oh. Yeah, pigs can't get in. We missed a step. <laughs> so the far gate we usually uh, open up so that the pigs can get in. <laughs> Just single file. What are you doing there, buddy, Pedro? Are you gonna eat? You seriously have to have a routine or everything goes amok. Yeah. Yeah, one little thing goes out. What is it, Pedro? Go turn around and eat. <laughs> oh, who's that? Turbo. Just like a dog. Turbo. Yes, I see you there. Your hay's coming, buddy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, they have such attitudes at times when it comes to food. So we've got Pedro and Juanita with their jackets on. Uh, and again, I've covered this before. They came in uh, with the uh, four goats outside uh, and they were sheared very late in the season. So uh, we ordered some jackets. Uh, we got four of them. Uh, these ones here are the mediums. There are some smalls which are a little bit too small. Uh, so Tara is uh, working on building some more jackets. Pedro. Yeah, see Pedro there, he's got that shiver. But I think that might even just be him. He's just, he's just nervous. Well, you also gotta remember like sometimes I'll, I'll loosen my jacket up. Sometimes too loose, too tight of a jacket. And then this might be a little tight. Yeah, yeah, you want it a little bit loose. It's kind of like wearing uh, spandex out in sub-zero temperatures. You want, uh, you want the fabric a little bit away, uh, a little bit of uh, air gap. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> he's always ne he's uh, always been the one that doesn't uh, doesn't eat a lot. So not in here anyway. He eats his hay when he's outside. All right, are we done, guys? Tara's gonna adjust Pedro's jacket. All right. Come on, kids. Yeah, he's just like, come on. 
Yeah. <laughs> out, out, out. <laughs> Come on, Petey. Let's go, guys. Bye. I'll get you hay. Yeah. All right, it's hay time. <laughs> All right, there you go, Tinker. Good. Here you go, girls. There you go. And Tara's got some more over there. And we'll just put this in there. Okay, good. Everybody's got their hay. Hi, Bronwyn. Good morning. Morning, Bronwyn. So I mentioned earlier that uh, Pedro and Juanita came in with four goats, uh, Edward, Leo, Skunk, and Sue, and we've got them in this pen here. Uh, now, Leo and Edward, we're not sure of their age, uh, but they were quite old, and apparently their vet said that they didn't really have much left uh, of their life. So they were slowing down, they were getting older. Uh, when they came in, they seemed, uh, they seemed just as energetic as, uh, as any of the other goats we had. So, uh, but, you know, as, uh, as time went on, uh, started to show their age. Uh, Leo, actually a couple videos ago, uh, I checked in on him and he kind of had his head down and he, uh, you know, he was kind of a little bit off. Yeah, so this is Edward here. Uh, and then that is Le Leo. What are you doing? Are you resting? <laughs> He's got his head down. Uh, this is uh, Sue and this is Skunk. Hi, Skunk. Skunk's usually pretty shy, but it looks like she's coming around. <laughs> Leo. Le what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Are you sleeping? <laughs> They have huge horns. So another reason why we put them in here was because they are very needy boys. Uh, this past week we did lose Leo. So Leo passed away. We've still got Edward, uh, Sue, and Scott. Uh, so here is Edward here. Uh, Leo uh, was this basically the same. Uh, I believe they were brothers. Uh, Leo had uh, had a patch on his back and then, of course, uh, on his feet. So, uh, Edward's still with us. Uh, you know, we're not sure, you know, how he's going to do. He seems to be doing fine, just uh, just like Leo was. Uh, Leo just kind of slowed down there uh, the last couple weeks. And so, um, here is uh, Sue here and then Skunk. What are you doing, Skunk? You're in the corner. Yeah. She likes the corner in there. Hey, but it was expected. So we were expecting it. Um, you know, you didn't, never know when it's gonna happen, um, but uh, the best thing you can do is give them the best quality of life you can. And, um, and then when time comes, um, they'll let you know. Well, and what are we sitting now with? Uh, so I always say it's who's on Voro time. Yeah, right? exactly. So, uh, <laughs> Edward is on borrowed time. Blackie is on borrowed time. Petey and Piper are on well borrowed time. Yeah. You know, you, you, Lexi's on borrowed time. So it's, you get to this after a few years, you go through these spells where, yeah, you, you end up with those ones that were on borrowed time. So, yeah, the best you can do is just give them the best quality yeah. of life. <sighs> How's the pony's water doing? Good? Actually, it's not too bad. We'll top that up. Looks like they uh, might be all in their shelter. Oh, there's Levi. Morning, Levi. And Meadow. And it looks like Billy's inside. 
And uh, Carl and Daisy are probably over in this building here. Good morning, Levi. Levi! Oh, hey, Carl. Oh, that's my boy. Hi. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Hey. What are you doing? You little frosty. Yes. You little frosty. Okay, geese, geese, roosters, ducks, rabbits, all in here. Put down some bedding, keep things dry and warmer. Oh, so loud. Fernando, how you doing buddy? <laughs> so, Fernando, some of you would ask, well, where's Fernando at? Uh, he's been hanging out in here. All right, there we go. We've got uh, all of the bedding down, all nicely bedded. Uh, we did get another duck in uh, two weeks ago, actually. So, the yellow pecan right there, right there. So, that is Daffy. Oh, guys, it's so loud. <laughs> so that's Daffy. So Daffy seems to have uh, found his crew. Uh, so he's one of four Pekin ducks uh, that uh, a family had, and he was the, uh, the last one. So uh, his, uh, his siblings passed, and um, he came to live here on the farm. He's made some friends. So when I when he called to see if I would take a duck, I was just I guess this time of year you assume it's like a wild duck that you know somebody's found or whatever. So I said, well, what kind of duck is it? And this guy was so funny because he he pauses and then he goes, it's white and it quacks. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's a pecan. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so those were the only ducks that they had. They just had the four. They yeah, didn't have I think any other so. animals. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it didn't sound like he knew much about the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> it's white and it quacks. Or maybe he was the husband and right? the, the wife and kids knew all about the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our needy cat, Rhea. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, silly girl? <laughs> And Inara, our other needy, she's Rhea's mom. Hi, Inara. Yes. And then, of course, Tear. Tear's our little feral boy. Yeah, okay. You gonna run away? <laughs> Come here, Teddy. I have something for you. Oh, there you are. You want some spinach? Here, Teddy. There you go. Oh, some spinach. Mm. <laughs> what, where are you going? Why are you hiding? It's daytime. <laughs> it's daytime. <laughs> Teddy, hi. What are you doing hiding in there? Do you like your little house? Nap time. Uh, nap time. Do you want some more spinach? Here. <laughs> Here. What's this? You gonna have another one? Oh, there you go. Now you've come out. Silly girl. <laughs> so Teddy uh, made a full recovery on the eye, which is great. Uh, and we do have a, uh, a couple homes interested in her. So uh, we'll probably be um, looking at rehoming her in the uh, coming weeks 
And we're just in, enjoying her presence. Oh. Very calm. <laughs> and of course the cats seem to, the cats seem to really like her too, right? You guys are often seen, yes, you're often seen checking out Teddy's little home. Usually in the middle of the night you go for a walk and you find a cat sleeping on top of it staring yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, just staring down. <laughs> and then of course we have our dogs. Uh, Maggie had some, yeah, I said your name. She had some dreadlocks on her head. So Tara gave her a, a haircut on the top of the head. So that's why she kind of looks, uh, <laughs> looks a little funny. I just had to look at the calendar and I guess this is more than likely the last video of the year. Uh, as the first is next Sunday, which is when uh, I will publish the next video. Uh, so we'll see what happens between now and then. Uh, but um, until then, uh, we'd like to wish you all a uh, Merry Christmas and all the best on New Year's Eve and into the new year. Uh, so until next video, have a wonderful week and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>